That is uh, another way to simulate manually what PG based backup does. And we can use the replication uh, protocol to ask the database to copy the data. And this is what we're going to do today. So I hope it's going to be faster. Uh, and to do so, I'm going to use PSQL. So I'm going to use here PSQL uh, and tell the PSQL that I want to use the replication protocol here instead of, let's put them this way, a normal connection. So here I'm telling the database, look, I'm open this connection to the database and I want to sort of walk through the replication protocol not the normal protocol that we work with the database, right? So this is one thing, when we go through the replication protocol, we have a lot of, a uh, few more things that we can do. Uh, it's on the documentation. And one of the things that we can do, for example, is to check uh, information about the system, information about the, the server we're connecting to. For example, here, I gonna ask, the server to identify the system. So what it's gonna do is, it's gonna tell us what is the timeline. Well, the server didn't do any recover, so we still, we're still in the first timeline. This is the LSN, the log position that we have. And this is an identifier of this instance, of this server here that we, that we stole. It will be important later when we start creating a replication uh, environment. When we have a primary and different nodes, we will see that every node will have its own system identifier, its own system ID. And they are used by the replication protocol. Well, we're not going to do, go deep today, but this is something that you can do. Another thing that we can do here we can tell the database that uh, we want to do a backup, right? And remember that we are using a base backup, right? So what we want to do here is just to do it a base backup, a base backup. So I will tell that the label, what is the label that I, I want for my base backup? Uh, let's put here, I don't know. Matt backup backup one. So it's just a label. Uh, I can give him some instructions if I want the backup to to copy the wall. If the, I want the backup to do a fast uh, not commit. I just forgot that it came like out of my mind. Uh, I flush to the data. So I can instruct the, 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 the backup here to go for more, uh, a lot of options. What I want to do is I, I want it to be, if I if we need to do any flush here, the database to try to do as fast as, as possible because we want to, to, to have this backup to finish. I do want to copy the wall files. And if I just run here, what we're gonna have here is a stream of, uh, of data because it's going to send into the system output. But I don't want to send the system output. I want to send this to, to save to a file. And this backup that's done here, it's, it's not compressed, but it's use a tarball. So I can send everything for a tar file, right? For, for example, we have the folder backup. And let's call, just call it backup one. I have some Zoom stuff here, Dota, right? So I'm gonna send there. Before, let's go to our folder backup. 
to see if we have anything here. So we have those backups that we've playing, I've played before. I'm gonna remove them because we don't have that much space. So we only have 43 gigabytes available. And as we see here, the backups are around 47 gigabytes. So we need to do some cleanup, right? So I'm just removing them. Okay, nothing here. Uh, now we have enough space and we can run here. So uh, it is blocking because it's a blocking operation, right? So PS Cloud will only return when it finishes. But if we go back here, we can- So wait, you just mentioned this is a blocking operation. So you can't run this on a live system? No, no, it's a blocking operation for the PSQL, not for the data. Oh, for the command, the command. Yeah, just, the just for the command. command. Just to be sure. It's not like it's locking the yeah. entire no, database. No, no. Now, if we go for here, you can connect to, to the database. Uh, let's see how many database we have. Let's do a, the events. Let's check what are the events we have here. So we're going we're gonna to see that we have the, the, the backup somewhere here. Uh, yeah, here we have the backup. See, it's still running, it's still active. 